Okay, here's a look outside right now, and I'll tell you what, we have clear skies at this point in the game. The winds are still up some. They will diminish as the night wears on. Temperatures are dropping. They're going to be dropping pretty quickly the rest of the overnight. Again, earlier today, boy, it was just absolutely gorgeous. 67 just ahead of the cold front. A morning start of 45. Right now, those numbers are starting to go downhill. They range from 48 to 51. Still a very stiff northeasterly breeze. And you get out in that thing and you can really feel it. Uh, northeast at 13 miles per hour at that humidity. 54%. These were the highs earlier today. 60s from the I-64 corridor and points off to the south. 67 here, one below that in Nashville. But you go north and you run into the 50s and this is the air mass that's going to be over us as we roll into your Saturday afternoon. All right, so back in time we go. You can see the weather in motion around the Ohio Valley. Very, very quiet once again on this Friday and Friday evening. Uh, skies are clear right now as another little bubble of high pressure from Canada builds in across the upper Midwest. And this thing will continue to work its way east-southeast tonight through tomorrow. So it's going to keep us cool, obviously, by the time you wake up in the morning. We're talking about low to middle 30s across the better part of the viewing area. 37, the expected low in the downtown vicinity. Uh, and then as we roll through tomorrow after that very chilly start, it's going to be a beautiful autumn day, don't get me wrong. Light winds, lots and lots of sunshine, but it's going to be a cool day. Temperatures a little bit below average for the time of year. As we go through your Saturday afternoon, those highs will likely climb into the middle and also the upper 50s by late day, expecting 56 in the metro. Now, as we move into tomorrow night, it does appear that uh, a freeze will be possible. A freeze watch has been issued by the National Weather Service. You ask yourself, what's a freeze watch? It simply means this, that temperatures could reach that 32, 31 degree mark for several hours in a row later tonight into Sunday morning. Uh, and uh, as we roll through Sunday afternoon, we'll make up for that cold weather, no question about it. We're on the back side of the high, so Sunday afternoon looks absolutely wonderful again. Lots of sunshine, a gentle south or southwesterly breeze, and those temperatures will make a nice recovery into the lower 60s after that very chilly start Sunday morning. Here's your forecast in detail for the weekend. Down through the 40s will go, clear skies, quite chilly out there. Outline regions, low and middle 30s in the metro. I think we'll bottom out around 37 or so. Tomorrow midday, tons of sunshine, but a cool 48. And the top temperature late day, that's going to go up to 56. And lots of sunshine continues. All right, we have that chance for a freeze, certainly a frost tomorrow night. We'll watch it close. Otherwise, 61 Sunday afternoon. And look at the wonderful autumn weather next week. Low to middle 60s in the afternoon and lows at night basically in the 40s. There are signs that we could be very close to 70 for a short time next Friday before things start to cool off again. So really, uh, quiet weather continues. Mild weather will be on the way next week. We need the water, we need the rainfall, but it doesn't appear to be in the cards right now.